Here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Still a cool afternoon, but with all that sunshine out there, some of us are starting to think about signs of spring. Let's take a look at this countdown and only 12 days to the start of meteorological spring. The meteorological spring is basically important for stat geeks like me. That starts on March 1st, 23 days until daylight savings, and then 31 days until the vernal equinox. That's when actual spring starts. And there will be some spring-like temperatures around this weekend. We'll put those up coming up in just a minute. Right now, our winds continue to be busy from the northwest between about 10 to 15 miles an hour. Recently, not a whole lot in the way of really strong wind gusts. Still a little breezy in Smithfield with a recent gust of 23 miles an hour hour and 21 in westerly temperatures in the mid 30s for Providence 35 Newport 37 in westerly and 36 on Block Island. So we will be doing some melting today. Wind chills a little brisk out there in the mid 20s kind of stay in put here as we head throughout the afternoon with that breeze. Although those breezes will start to relax a lot by the evening. We'll put that wind forecast up in just a second. The reason we have the wind right now is even though high pressure is building in from the southwest, we still have that storm close enough to bring in those winds from the northwest. This moves even further away tomorrow. High pressure takes over and although it will be a little breezy tomorrow afternoon, it will be from a warmer direction. I promised you that wind gust future cast. Well, here it is 2 o'clock this afternoon, still gusting at around 19, 20, maybe 25 miles an hour. But notice as we head into 4 or 5 p.m., the winds really start to taper off. And as those winds taper off, we'll see some mostly clear skies to partly cloudy skies, maybe some fog and temperatures in the mid 20s. So certainly a cool night and a cool start to the weekend, but then by uh, tomorrow afternoon, that's when the temperatures really start to take off. So tomorrow afternoon, as I just said, will be milder and we get you up to around 48 degrees, maybe a few spots actually close to 50. Definitely with those winds coming in from the south and southwest, it will feel a whole lot milder than what we're experiencing right now. And then on Sunday, we have 50 in the future cast, mild with partly sunny skies. The difference between Saturday and Sunday is Saturday starts cool and then those temperatures really increase a lot through the day. Sunday starts milder, so we basically have a warmer launching point to get these temperatures up a little milder on Sunday. By Sunday evening, some breezes do come through along with some cooler winds. So Sunday night into Monday, cooler air takes over, but it doesn't mean bad weather for the holiday on Monday. For President's Day, we're talking about 43 degrees with mostly sunny skies. We'll take it. Now a few more things to point out here in the seven day future cast. I mentioned how Saturday will start cool. You can see that low temperature at 26 degrees. So if you're out and about on Saturday morning, do expect those temperatures to be in the upper 20s. You will need that jacket for the early morning walk. It's by one, two o'clock in the afternoon where you're going to really start to feel those temperatures get a little milder with temperatures in the upper 40s. Obviously some more melting going on. And then on Sunday, Yes, 50 is warm, no doubt about that, but is it exceptionally warm? Not really. You can see our record. It's nowhere close to that. Our record from 1997, 64 degrees, so I don't think we'll be breaking that, but the normal is 41, so certainly well above normal as we head into Sunday with more melting. And then again, on Sunday night, we'll have some cooler air dropping in from the north, so those wind chills will drop rapidly. So by Monday, it's a much cooler day, a different kind of feeling day, despite the sunshine with a temperature of 43 degrees. And then in terms of signs of storms, I don't see a whole lot. There may be a few showers around Wednesday and Thursday, but I'm not terribly impressed with that right now as temperatures are in the upper 40s. In fact, as you really look at some of the uh, long range stuff for the rest of the month, Temperatures staying fairly mild, but it does not mean winter is over by any means. Obviously, even last year we saw snow well into April, so even though the end of February looks rather mild and not winter like, it does not mean that winter won't return for March. Still a ways to go for that. Of course, if you want more updates on the nice weather on the way for the weekend, you can always search Pinpoint Weather on the App Store and get videos, blogs, and all kinds of good weather information. All right, thank you, Pete. Now, a story's coming up new tonight, starting live at 5. Working again.